Flight operations on a carrier are notoriously tough. Getting on and off a ship is the definitive skill that sets naval aviators apart from all others. The reason, the runway. On land, pilots have more than 2,000 feet to take off and land. On a carrier, they have just 300. Naval aviation is pretty unforgiving. If you're not focused and you're not prepared, um, then you're not going to be doing this business for very long. To take off on such a short deck, pilots have to generate extra speed. The solution, a catapult. A cat shot can launch a 60,000 pound aircraft from zero to 150 miles per hour in just two seconds. It's kind of like being shot out of a gun. It wakes you up, it gets your adrenaline going, and, uh, and it's pretty exciting. Taking off from a carrier is hard. Complicating the matter, the flight deck. It doesn't stay still. It heaves and sways with the sea. In the seconds before touchdown, pilots have to make countless small changes to get the aircraft to line up perfectly with the deck. An F-18 typically hits the deck at over 150 miles an hour. To slow down, pilots rely on a system of arresting wires. Catching one is called a trap. We have three wires we can catch. When our hook grabs one of those wires, it feeds out the appropriate amount of cable to stop you before you would go off the end of the landing area. It takes years to become a naval aviator. The good ones make it look easy. It looks graceful and it's beautiful. But what you don't see is all the practice and repetition that goes into making that look that way.